Hello everyone, welcome back to Teacup. So last time we ended up here at the circus, we uh, spoke to a frog in a swimsuit. We even won from this frog in a swimsuit. We're looking for tea. <laughs> so many things that we need to do. Is there anything? Wait, I don't need my mouse. I can do that. It's not a point and click, it's a walk and, and, and go type of adventure. What a mysterious looking sense. It seems no one is home, though. Can we go in? No, we can't go. Well, that means that we can only do something else. Let's go back to the map. This is not a map. Hello, Mr. You, you are the one. Sal El Salamandro. <laughs> What's your name again? <laughs> and there's a swimsuit. Yeah, we gotta go back to the map. Um, he uh, added a few things to our map. Like the East Forest. Oh, there's also a plaza? Let's check out the plaza then. Yeah, we haven't been here. Hey, is the circus your place? Hello, Daddy Cub. Yes, this is the first time we meet, but the Cosmos told me you would come out today. Let me check something real quickly. All right, it's good. Yeah, you missed out on music, but that's what you do when you alt tap out of the game. Would you like to have your fortune read? It might help you on your journey for tea. Yes, then let me begin. Minigame? <laughs> tarot? I got a set of tarot cards. The Fool. You have at times been an inconsistent character. You have had difficulty staying organized and reflecting calmly on a problem or situation. But you have since changed your state of mind. The King. You are currently struggling with your independence. Fortunately, the situation should not last since a new dynamic is moving into your life. It should help you regain the confidence you had before and the natural optimism that represents you so well. Hmm. Last card. So it's past, present, future. This is the future. The next stage of your life promises to be extremely rewarding. Especially on a personal level, the cards show a succession of events that are as favorable as they are unexpected. The challenges you face today will gradually dissipate, and you will finally take control of your life. Are you going to do a split card too? No. Okay, only past, present, future. Many good things await you. You've heard the cards, you just have to continue ahead on your journey. T. Oh, sure. My sixth sense tells me it's underground. It's pink? I see a lot of pink. There's nothing more I can tell you, but this information should surely be enough. It, no, it just raises more questions. Hey, newspaper stand. Hello, I got the latest news. Wait, I can't tell you. You have to buy the newspaper and read it. Why? Well, that's just how it works. Well, if news isn't your thing, I also have the latest edition of a weekly cloud guide. It's a favorite among professional and hobby cloud watches alike, you know. Ah, so the problem is that you don't have cash on you. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Kinda. I see you there encoding overload myths. It's a th I don't understand why it's still there. T. Ridiculous. I worry about real life problems like blah 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 blah. Bloody blah blah blah. Okay, we can go in the post office. Let's do it. Adora told me it was a lucky day for me, but I just tripped. Probably getting luckier now. Let's head in. This, this seems like a mini game. Name, Ferald Ferald. Address, I forgot. Hope it's all right. <coughs> what a mess. Hundreds of letters. Name, Ran Badger. 
address, North Little Pond House 4. Oh, what kind of stuff do we have here? Oh, Auto Owl. Address, West Forest, Treehouse. Pretty sure that we're going to deliver some letters. More letters still. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Welcome to the post office. I'm Vissen, the postmaster, assistant postman, and also the postman apprentice. I'm busy now counting the amount of to-dos I have to on my to-do list. That might take a while. Come back later if you need anything. Oh, are we here too early? Is that it? Oh, plant. Second assistant doesn't talk much. <laughs> it's a finger plant. That's how it's called. A finger plant. Right, so... What about this then? What do you want? Uh, I think seems like the door's locked. Bakery? Hey, what do you want? Cookies, huh? The only problem is that I'm bound to go for lunch. You're friends with Lyndon. He mentioned something about a picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. Cookies are a specialty, so you should better go and ask him. He did have some errands to run, though, so he might still be doing that. So we have to go back to the pond? Oh, hey, little fella. I could buy some sweets later. Really? You don't sound like a kid. <laughs> you sound like an old man. I wonder where my old card is right now. Me too. This monkey. Yeah, kindly invited to the theatre play we'll be presenting this afternoon at this very spot. Okay. Teacup! You're out. Are you okay? Oh, that's good. What brings you to the plaza? I bet it's because of the festival. Yeah, it's the town anniversary. You didn't know. <laughs> With all these preparations, I almost forgot about the tea party. That explains why you're out and about. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. So this is what you're looking for. Sorry, T, I don't know really where to get any of the tea herbs you need. Maybe Vincent could help you. He likes to drink tea every once in a while. If you walk a bit further, you should find him working at a postal office. And if you're going to the post, if you don't mind, could you please mail my monthly manga order for me? Awesome. Thanks, T. See you around town. Take care. Right, so we have to go back to the post office. Looks like the theatre company will be performing soon. My family always say I should have been an actor. Why is that? It's beyond my comprehension. So you don't know either? We can go into that place. Should I go fly a kite? I'm not sure I'm ready for such an adrenaline rush. Can't talk right now. I'm busy thinking. Okay, let's enter that store. Seems like some sort of carpet store. Fancy designs. Oh, you are a Persian cat. Look at that. Hmm, sorry I can't help you right now. I'm having some trouble. Don't you see it? The carpets have come alive. I knew there had to be some kind of trick. These last ones were really cheap. You're looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but right now isn't the best time. Uh -huh. I know the magicians. I need your help, frog. I need your... I'll give you jasmine. But first you need to get need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these rocks down. You can find them in a tent in the meadows. I'd go myself, but then these carpets will escape. I'm counting on you. Alright, Pankrati. I know plants need water, but this much? It's probably a swampy plant. Okay, so now we have a reason to go to that circus tent in the meadows. That's where the magicians are. But I'm gonna finish this uh, area first. There's a note. Closed for the celebrations. Candy. All these names are weird. What do they taste like? Nostalgia Blue. Flavor has me recalling things I've, ne <laughs> I've never even lived. Oh, God. 
went kite flying. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, so hey, here's the mayor. Have you seen my errand boy? No, maybe? I don't know. Okay, nothing else here. Let's head back into the post office. We can run. Forget about that. Post office. Talk to Vincent. Ship his manga order thingy. Get some more information from Vincent, I hope. Even though he, he said his name was Vincent without the end. I can give you tea if you deliver all these letters for me. Welcome to the post office. How may I help you? I see Mr. Bertel's monthly manga order. I'll add it to my to-do list. Yes, the office is a mess. Don't judge me. The mayor absolutely insisted on making this limited edition stamp collection. I've spent a whole week working on it and I will barely finish on time. He wanted some memorabilia to immortalize this year's edition of the town's anniversary. Uh, you notice the honey aroma in the air? It's my tea. Can't tell you where I got it. It's a secret, you see. You know what? Let me show you the stamps. Let's see if you can organize them and form the image. If you can do that, I'll tell you where to get honey. Mini game. Vincent will tell you his secret if you solve his stamp puzzles. Select two stamps to swap their positions. Place the stamps in the correct positions to complete the picture. Right. So it seems like... Oh, you need to reorganize them to form the pictures pretty hard. Is it? Let's see, it doesn't seem <laughs> really difficult though. You need to go there, you need to go there. And then... <laughs> voila! <laughs> it was easy. Mm, how about you try forming the picture by only swapping adjacent stamps? Okay, okay, interesting. Um, I want you there. Bada bing, bada boom. There. No, it's it's probably this. There. Got it. <laughs> Easy. Wow. If you manage this last one, I'll tell you the secret behind how I got this honey. Okay. Oh, the corners are already um, in place. All right. Let's get you in, in there and then you the other side. There. And you can go up there. These are pretty fun to do. Almost done. There and then there we go. Nice. <laughs> like it. Wow, you made it, huh? As a prize, I'll tell you my secrets. You know, Otto. He's keeping bees. They always provide him with honey. He's a kind soul, so I don't think he would mind giving you a bit. Otto, was was that the uh, owl? Great, so we got a couple of goals. We can go back to the circus. We can go to Otto. And that's that's it. For now. First, let's go to, to the magicians. Otto is the owl, right? I hope it is. Uh, that way. And now we can probably enter... There. Oh, there's still nobody inside? But Pankrati told you to look for the magicians here. You call out and hear a voice beckoning you to enter. Oh. Hello? <clears throat> oh, look, look, a frog. Correct, Vitiano. Like you. Salutations, little amphibian. Interested in the mysteries of existence, the other world at which is beyond the reach of Dians. Dians? That's science, Vitiano. Yeah, yeah, she understood. She said yes. Welcome then. We have a mission for you. 
What mission? Oh, right. The mission. A magnificent mission. You must find the cauldron of life. Looks like a teapot, but it's not. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our fence. Tent. Slender. Luck <laughs> over. I remember the shopkeeper clearly saying fence. That was his accent. Nobody in the garage sales spoke her language. <laughs> er, right. Are you cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron, here's a list of some other stuff I need and can't find. It's Yano. What? She already said yes. Go. We'll be waiting here. Oh, goody. Hide, hide, uh, hide in the thingy. <laughs> um, hidden objects. There we go. Vidiano and Lakufu asked for your help to find all the objects they can't find in the mess of their tent. Find all the hidden items displayed on the scroll and select them with the cursor. Okay, cursor time. So... We gotta find a lot of stuff. Oh my. Do I see something already? Let me let me sit really close to the screen. <laughs> I'm not sitting that close to the screen. Though. We need to find I mean that's a one ball, that's not an eight ball. Uh there's a teacup. Well, okay, we found a cauldron. We're done. So are they hiding behind stuff? That might be the case. Got some garlic. There's a peach. Um, you know what? I'll see you when I find everything. Wow. I had some difficulties finding the biggest object. It was hidden everywhere. You pick up the cauldron of life to take it to look. La Kovu and Vitiano. A strange smell emanates from the teapot. You feel dizzy. Oh no. <gasps> what is this place? Well, we're gonna figure that out next time. So thank you very much for watching Teacup. And I'll see you then.